Hey guys, it's Tyler Strike, founder and owner of Tennis with Tyler. So today, we're going to be working on how to keep the ball in court. If you guys suffer with hitting the ball too long during your ground strokes, this video is for you. As always, if you guys like and want to support this channel, please like, comment, and subscribe below. So if you ever hit the ball really long and you can't get it to dive in, the number one thing I want you to do is check where your strings are when you make contact. What most people do when they hit the ball up in the air, when they make contact, their strings are open. When your strings are open, the ball's going to hit and fly along, right? The strings are open, the ball's going to hit and go up in there like this, right? So my strings are open, right? I can't get the ball in the court. I hit and the ball flies along. It just goes super high. And the reason why, once again, is because my strings are open. So all you have to do is instead of having your strings open, make sure your racket face is closed. So when you make contact with the ball and we're going to brush up on the ball, it's going to create topspin. So once again, if you guys hit the ball super high up in there, just check, are my strings open? If they are, just tilt it downward, make sure your strings are closed, and you will be able to get the ball in the court. So here we are, right? Let's do two more. So my strings are open, right? Strings are open super high, strings are open. But now all I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt my strings downward and watch, same stroke. And now the ball is diving into the court every single time. So. By just going from here to here, it's going to change where your ball is going and you will be able to get the ball in the court. So after you do that, the second thing, right? If the ball flies long, I want you to check if you're loose or are you tight. If you're tight, the ball's probably going to fly long. What a lot of my students do is they swing, right? And they stop the racket. Once again, they swing and they stop. So when I swing and I stop, right? I'm gonna swing and stop the racket. I'm stopping my momentum. Once again, I'm gonna swing, stop, the, ball's going, the ball is going to fly long. In tennis, to gain control, you have to give up control. In order to create topspin, which topspin will make the ball dive in, you have to let your racket do a full rotation. Rotation equals consistency. If you can rotate your racket, you will be able to get the ball in. So instead of stopping your swing, right, you should just do a full swing, full rotation. Let the racket do the work. Let the racket go. So if your strings are tilted downward and you're still getting the ball long, check, am I doing a full swing? Am I allowing my racket to make a full rotation while I hit? If you aren't doing that, try it and you will be able to get the ball in the court. Now, if you guys wanna have a little bit more consistency, increase your margin, right? You guys need to start hitting topspin. And like I mentioned before, topspin is what enables you to get the ball to dive into the court. So by hitting topspin, right, I'm gonna swing, I'm gonna brush low to high, the ball is going to spin a ton and dive into the court. It basically topspin allows you to hit the ball as hard as you want and it's still going to dip in. So, right, if I hit the ball flat, right, I hit this ball flat, it goes long. But if I hit topspin, it's going to allow my ball to dive in. Another benefit for the topspin is when your opponent receives the ball, it's not just going to come right to them, it's gonna bounce and kick up and put them into a bad position. So next time you're on court, just try to hit topspin, swing low to high, or check out my topspin workshop. It is a great video that shows you every single steps to create topspin. So once again, if you guys can A, close your strings, B, make sure you follow through, and C, hit topspin, you guys will be able to get the ball in the court. So now we are going to demonstrate all the tips that we went over with the slinger bag. So let's start out with our strings being open. So if my strings are open, watch what is going to happen with the ball. So my strings are open and watch, like I mentioned before with the drop feet, they're going to fly long. Strings are open, the ball goes up in there. Once again, my strings are open, ball's just flying long. So if I tilt my strings downward, that's going to allow me to dip the ball in. Also, when you tilt your strings downward, it's gonna allow you to automatically create topspin, right? So that's the first thing that we went over. And then the second thing, right? So if I don't follow through, the ball's still going long. A lot of players do this. They don't follow through. The ball is going long. But if I follow through and allow my racket to do the work, it's going to dip in, as you can see. And same thing for backhand as well. If I follow through with my backhand, it's going to allow the ball to dip in. All right. And then the third thing, right? So brush low to high and create top spin. It's going to allow the ball to dip in. If I hit flat, the ball is going all the way to the gate. If I swing fast and create topspin, it's going to dip 
the ball in. Oh, I gotta hit some more than that. <laughs> there we are, one more. I put this slinger bag on a horrible setting right now. The ball's kicking up. It's like hitting a Nadal forehand. But once again, just to recap, if you guys can A, tilt your racket downward, B, allow your racket to create a full rotation, and C, try to create topspin, you will not hit your ball long anymore. As always, guys, if you guys have any comments or questions, let, just let me know in the comments below. Happy hitting. See ya.